I'm going to attempt to repair this um, the crack on these um, 1960s alligator skin uh, shoes. Um, the crack, it does go all the way through the skin. It's, um, let me just pop the uh, tree out. It's not as, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's serious, but it's not as difficult to repair as you'd think. See, I, I can actually stick the blade of the scissor right in. It's completely gone. Um, you, can't, you can't just squirt a little bit of glue into the um, into the hole and and simply glue the outer alligator skin or crocodile whichever it turns to be to the to the lining is inside the linings and the um, the outer skins they need to be completely separate they need to slide about there's a street thing going past no, that pass is a bit noisy as i say to you the um, the outer skins and the inner skins the linings need to be separate they need to be able to slide free you can't glue them together um, it will simply re-crack and it will go all hard and lumpy. What I'm going to be doing, um, I've got some, it's just chamois leather. This is the type of type of leather you would use just for you know, clean, car cleaning. It's very, very, uh, it's very soft. And I've cut a little patch here. Really sort of, it's strong and stable in every direction. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is popping this patch, not on the outside, obviously. I'm actually going to thread the patch through the crack in the skin. Alligator skin and crocodile skin is bizarre. It, um, it, um, it, it cracks through, around the scales. It doesn't crack through the scales. So let me see, let me see if I can, it's a bit of a fiddle. I've got some old tweezers here. Let me see if I can, I've, I've already cut it roughly to size. So I want the patch to be a lot bigger than the hole. You know, sort of a good sort of uh, 10, 15 millimeters surrounding the hole. And what I'll do, I'll get it in place on the inside fish it around, get it nice and flat, I've got various implements and tools. And then I'll squeeze some glue through. Um, I probably won't glue right to the edge of the patch. That won't be, that won't be um, of any particular importance. I'll glue the central area where the crack is. Um, I don't want the glue to go off the patch and then go between the, the back of the outer skin and the, and, the, and the linings. That needs to be avoided. So I've done the patch far bigger than we need. Let's see if we can get this in in, in a reasonable amount of time. It can be a bit of a fiddle. Uh, here we go. Just um, I'm literally just pushing it through the hole in the skin with these old tweezers. It's, as I said, it can be a bit of a fiddle. There's occasion of these going in a few seconds, but it's not. It's not, not uncommon that I might have to spend 10 or 15 minutes just trying to. I'm hoping that's not the case. I want to make this uh, video quite short for you. But it looks a bit bizarre. Yeah, let's try from the other side. It does look bizarre, but um, this skin is so fine and so thin, so soft. There we go, shove it all the way in. And let's see if I can grab it the other side and then take some the other way. Yes, I can have. Um, it's so soft and so fine, this, uh, this skin. It Once it's carefully in place, if I spend enough time popping it in place, I've got a little, sort of look, a little sharp screwdriver perhaps. Uh, yeah, that'll do. If I put, I spend enough time you're just getting the patch lined up and get it in place when it's um when it's lying nice and flat it won't be seen and it certainly you certainly won't be able to feel it through the um through the alligator i'm struggling a bit here this is <laughs> it is a fiddle um come on but of course i don't want to make the hole any larger there is that risk but if i do it won't be the end of the world and um, it will the larger tail will repair in exactly the same way um, is this going in place? Can't really tell. <laughs> yes, yes it is. But um, here we go. It's, is that in? No. Just it is. It's a bit of a fiddle. And um, once I've uh, once I've fiddled around and got the um, got the patch in place, I'll just slide a little bit of glue on um, on an old. I think I'll use an old chopstick. And. Um, yeah, so the glue won't get on the lining fabric at all. It will only be, it will only be on this um, chamois. Come on, it's, I had it in already. I did put it in last night. I've pulled it out. Um, it wasn't quite so difficult to get in last night. Now that I'm on camera, it's it's proving awkward. Let's have a look. Is that in? No, it's still a bit wrinkly. Let's try the chopstick. I shall need to shave that down a touch. Got a knife here. Just uh, need to make a slightly flatter edge to it. There we go. That's, that'll do. 
Let's see if I can just fish it around. I, do, I really do need to get this patch flat and reasonably even. If not, I'll have to take it out and do it again. Yeah, it's taken rather longer than I'd hoped, sorry. It's, uh, I might end up redoing this. <clears throat> it's just one of those things, you've got to be patient, you can't just shove the patch in and glue it anywhere. It does need to be even and flat. There's no good having it all over this side, then the glue squeezes out and it, it, would, it would then glue the... Uh, Actually, I can feel that. I don't want to be able to feel it. Um, yeah, we don't want we don't want to give it the chance to um, to glue to the uh, the back of the uh, alligator and the lining. We don't want to give the chance to glue those two together. Ah, oh, that's better. I can't feel it now. I don't think yeah, it's it's a fiddle, but it isn't a difficult job. It's just it's just a fiddle. Has that gone in? Let me just feel it from the inside. I think it has. I think it has. So, what I need to do is now get some glue, push the glue through the, through the holes. I'll need to shave that down a little bit more. It's still a bit on the clumsy side. Is that enough? Let me just have a really good look before I glue it. I just need to make sure that the, um, the patch has gone far enough over. No, I'm going to have to abandon this. Um, it's not working out. Um, uh, am I going to have to take this out and start again? Yeah, this is terrible. Never mind, never mind. Let's pull it out, start again. <laughs> 